Hey, you down here. Okay, back with another box. Christmas shopping box. This time I think I can just sit down. Oh, that's a little low. Who knows how that's going to go. Uh-oh. Now the chair is screwed up. There we go. I think it's too cold to work right now. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so this I've already had open. And it's all just fine. And this is what I got my mom. I got it out of my room. Uh, and uh, had plans on put it on the charger last night to charge it up. It's a, it does have a little bit of a tear in the box there. But. Uh, I guess I'm pretty sure it was like that already because I didn't have any trouble opening it. I didn't tear it. I'm almost certain. But anyway, it's not a big deal. But anyway, I had it out and looked it over. But I hadn't... Uh, I hadn't... Uh, let me make sure I've got the thing in the shot now that I've been moving it around. Yeah. But I hadn't... Uh, and it almost sounds low because I don't have my... I can't use my mic with this application camera app. I almost forgot the instructions. I stuck them in at the last minute. But it's a uh, robot vacuum cleaner. And I need to charge it for eight hours. So I was going to do it in my room, but I really don't have room. I'm just going to put it under my desk at night. I forgot. So I think I'll do it. And, and I think I'll be able to put it. Take the plastic off and do it in this box. I don't want her to see it, of course. She might come out here and see it. Uh, if I don't have it somehow. I mean, I don't want it all sealed up while it's charging, but I don't want it uh, being shown either. So let's see what we can do. But uh, she likes pink a lot. So that's <laughs> kind of cool it was, uh, when I, that it was pink. And it has... Uh, it has a brush. A lot of them don't have a brush down here. And I, I saw some video. I watched videos on them. It works with the brush pickup better, they say. And it has a. It's it's a. It only costs. Well, it was had 139 with a discount, 122 something. Uh, which you know is really cheap for one of these. And uh, all that wipe stuff is always. I can't get to come off. I don't worry about that when we open it for real. I mean, at Christmas. And I did think I ought to. Well, I won't, I'll charge it first before I even try to turn it on. And I'll just I'll make another video when I do that. So right now I'm just going to charge it. And I've already looked over the, you know, instructions and stuff. Yeah, I can put my plastic bag in that big box. I'm going to try to put it back in the big box, but it won't leave it open. So, uh, so that it uh, wouldn't overheat or anything while it's charging. Let's see. <coughs> to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it has a remote. It actually has a mopping function. And uh, remote, a mopping function. Uh, it does not have the, you know, sensor to tell it when it's going to fall off the stairs when we don't have a two-story house. So it didn't, that didn't matter. So, And the reviews on these things. I th th this one I had two, only had two reviews, and they, but they both had videos. It's on Amazon. And they... Uh, Showed it working good, so I thought, well, a lot of the rest of them that in the lower price range. Well, the review, I don't care if you was paying 150, 130, 150, 250, or you know, I, I couldn't, wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't pay over 300 for one. Period. It's just ridiculous. I mean, those other high price ones are just stupid. But uh, they're all made in China. I don't care what brand it is. The quality is not going to increase. If you pay six or eight hundred dollars for one, you know you may have more more bells and whistles. But anyway, of course, you get to a certain price point, you may not have 
enough quality that it's worth a hundred dollars but I'm hoping this one is it seemed like it it actually looks like it might be so um, remote stuff charging yeah that's what I need to know can't really see it I forgot that I'm in, I've got the camera down low <coughs> so uh, let's see <coughs> Okay, it's going to beep and then you plug it in. Oh, and it doesn't have a dock. You have to just plug it in, which is not that big a deal. Really. But I thought at first, I don't know, but you know what? What's that really matter? If you can't just reach down and plug it in, <laughs> you, you probably won't want to fool with it when it gets stuck and all that stuff. You know, you couldn't. Because uh, they do get stuck, you know. But it has a remote, so maybe, you know, I'm figuring half the time, at least hopefully three quarters of the time, get stuck you can just back it up with the remote is what I'm thinking never had one only watch videos on them so <coughs> and I didn't see anybody show how to get it unstuck they just talked about it so it'll be will be red and flashing and then when flashing charging the machine will sound three times and the indicator light turns blue the first charging time must be eight hours okay that's what we need to know <coughs> so, now how am I going to, where's the charging port? Oh, okay. Yeah, so here's the charging port and the on-off switch. Of course, you don't want it on while you're charging it. But, uh, I'm just, it's kind of a layout in here where you let, yeah, I can get to that eventually. Oh, no, I can't with it in there. so many different holes in here you can turn it kind of the way you want to so that'll work and then I can leave the lid you know like that where it can be vented but I wanted to put it down in this big box too so I guess I'll do that before I plug it in and uh, yeah that'll work Stuff all falls every which way every time. So. I guess it's not. I put it all back in its place. Yeah, it all went everywhere. There's a little rubber thingy screw on the something. A little cleaning brush. Shut it up, but I don't know. It's going to I mean, if it's safe, it's safe, and it's not, it's not. As far as <laughs> you know, having it plugged in, I mean, in a house or a garage, there's not that many places to plug something in. If it that if it caught did actually catch on fire, that it wouldn't be a danger. So I guess it's kind of a risk you're going to have to take. Yeah, I want to try. I don't know. I may lay a plastic bag over it. No, no. Something. Oh, that right there. That'll be enough to hide the logo on the bar. Because I can't have it on there. So and it's lightweight. Won't block the air. I've got power here and there. Figure out where I need to plug it in. Yeah, that's my vacuum. That might work. See if it's going to reach how long this charging cord is. And uh, let me see while I'm taking it loose. 
Am I still making video? Okay, good. This is the longer one. Okay, now. I'm gonna reach over to my plug. I'll be good. Straight into the plug. Like you're supposed to do. Let's see, did you reach? Looks like it. I could turn around the other way. I think I probably should have more corn. That won't make any difference. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I can't show plugging it in, but that's the only one. There. Well, I can pick it up. I should have had it. Okay, so it already blinked blue, now it's blinking red. I said it's going to blink blue again, I thought. Put it back in here. Yeah, that gives me plenty of room on my table to be able to, you know, shut the box lid down at least some. some. And uh, I already forgot what it said. And it's blinking red. You know what? I think it's going to blink red the whole time charging. Look at that again. It'll flash red and that's what it's still doing. Okay. When flashing charging machine will sound three times when the indicator turns blue. When finishing charging, okay, so it's going to make three. It's going to make three beeps, and then it'll turn blue. So this, when it's once it's put blinking red, like most stuff, and turns blue, you know it's done. <coughs> so that's the main thing we need to know about it. So, I forgot where to put my instructions. I guess that's a good place. I don't. I decided I don't want to cover up my, my check blinking eye. I want to be able to look at it easily. look like some of my junk out here <laughs> so maybe it won't draw any attention you think I hope so so it's got airflow or any warmth that comes out of those batteries while they're charging and like I said there's really not a place in the garage or, or the house or any most that's <laughs> I mean I could set it in the thing in the concrete floor I guess but if anything, if one of those battery things starts one of those battery fires, if they go, if they're really and truly bad, then boy, you better have it out in the driveway, away from everything. And then it'll probably throw sparks that catch all the dead leaves in the fire in the neighborhood. So what do you do? You gotta. I mean, I won't. Uh, I'll come and check on it. I'll. I'll be a while before I'm done messing around out here, and then I'll come back and check on it every so often. <coughs> Because it's the first time it's been plugged in, and brand new stuff can be more scary than used stuff nowadays. Because if it's been used for a while, you you got an idea of what's going to happen with it, you know. All right, so I guess that's it. Uh, bye bye.